Now, a lot of runners and triathletes will practice uphill running in their training, but how many of you have used downhill running as a way to get faster, stronger, and more efficient? Hmm. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the benefits of running downhill fast and how you can use it in your training. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone watching this today will have experienced running uphill at some point or perhaps even have done hill reps and will know just how hard it feels as you're essentially having to propel your body weight up the hill and perhaps that feeling like your heart is about to explode out of your chest. But what about downhill running? Well, because we don't necessarily get that feeling like our heart is about to explode out of our chest when we're running downhill, it's quite often overlooked. Now, I'm not talking about steep descents here or technical terrains. I'm talking about running fast intervals downhill on a smooth and gradual gradient. And this, to be honest, is something sprinters have been doing for decades as a way to improve their top end speed. But those benefits can still be felt in middle to long distance athletes too. Now, traditionally for us middle to long distance athletes, we would head to the track as a way to improve our speed, our efficiency and our strength. And don't get me wrong, the track is absolutely fantastic and it does that superbly. But I think it's about time we open our eyes up to benefits that can be made elsewhere and that is running fast intervals downhill. Now one of the main benefits to using a gentle downhill like this for some speed intervals in your training is that it helps to improve your leg turnover when you're running or better known as your running cadence. Now by improving your running cadence that will hopefully help to reduce or limit the amount of overstriding you do when you're running and that will reduce the amount of impact that you feel through each foot strike and that's important because if we can reduce the amount of impact through each foot strike that's going to reduce the amount of muscle damage and that will hopefully also mean that you can run longer and faster. Also, by doing this downhill running, it will just simply get you used to running fast downhill, get your muscles firing at that speed and getting those neurological pathways working within your muscles. After all, there is a reason why so many top runners and triathletes run with such a high cadence. Well, now let's talk about our running gait because when our foot hits the ground, our quads and our calves eccentrically contract. That means that they lengthen as they're contracting. And then when we toe off and we drive off of the ground, they then concentrically contract. So they shorten as they're contracting. Now, when we're running uphill, our quads don't really get the opportunity to lengthen out that much. Whereas when we run downhill, they're almost forced to lengthen as they slow down and control our speed. Now you possibly see where I'm going with this one. So when we do downhill running intervals, it not only increases the amount of foot strikes we make, but also the amount of impact forces that we feel through our legs. And that pulls those muscle fibers in our leg muscles, particularly our quads, apart ever so slightly, creating micro tears. They then have to repair, they'll strengthen in a way that they're not normally used to, creating positive adaptation. Okay, running downhill obviously requires less energy and less effort than running uphill, but quite often the aftermath and the cost of running downhill can be far more in terms of muscle damage. Yeah, how many of you have been out on a long run perhaps with lots of steep downhills? The delayed onset muscle soreness, or also known as DOMS, can leave you hobbling around for days, sometimes even weeks after that run. So again, no surprise here, it brings us back to the last point, including some downhill running intervals in your training, will hopefully allow your muscles to adapt, it'll reduce that DOMS feeling that you get, making your legs bulletproof and hopefully making you more resilient, allowing you to get on with your training in future uninterrupted. And finally, and probably fairly obviously, by doing all these downhill running intervals, it's going to improve your technical skills of running downhill and also your racing and pacing. So whereas a lot of runners will charge to the top of a hill or to the top of a climb and then ease off with their pace, you'll get to the top 
and quite easily and quite naturally be able to bridge back up to them or perhaps extend your lead further or maybe go after victory. Now obviously we've gone through a lot of benefits to downhill running today but we're not suggesting you've all of a sudden start doing all of your runs downhill. As with anything you want to build it up gradually. In fact with this I suggest maybe just doing one downhill running interval session every few weeks perhaps. That's still enough to start improving your speed and efficiency as a runner. And probably the question that you've been asking all along, what do one of these downhill running interval sessions look like? Well, now time to have a look. So find yourself a gentle slope between three to 5% and make sure it's at least the length of your chosen intervals. This training is fine to do on tarmac, but if you have a gravel track or grassy slope, then this will help reduce that impact slightly. Just make sure it's a smooth surface and you're not going to twist your ankle in any hidden holes. Aim to be light on your feet, using your legs to propel you forwards rather than breaking with each step. Focus on your form, lifting your chest up and extending your legs fully at the end of each stride. Avoid overstriding and think about maintaining a high cadence. Run on either your midfoot or your forefoot and avoid heel striking. And of course, remember to build it up slowly. An example session to start with, maybe six lots of 200 meters, walking or jogging back to the start after each rep but you can build this up to something like 10, lots of 400 meters, in the same way as you might do on the running track. And just to throw a twist into this, you could actually start running the uphills at a moderate pace and then the downhills at that fast pace, stop being recovering at the bottom before doing numerous repetitions of that. Just remember, as with anything, this is meant to be fun. Have a good time doing it. It's a great opportunity to just have fun running downhill fast while still getting positive adaptations from it, getting faster and improving your efficiency as a runner. Do let us know if you are already including this in your training or if you do give this a go after the video, just drop that down in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a like. Don't forget you can follow GTN over on social media or give us a subscribe just down below.